Dear friends, welcome to AS American English Center. Check your Webster's Letter Writing Book. We have come here to the Letter Writing 77, video number 77. What type of world we are living, sir? We are living in a world where you have to get things done from others. You have to get things done from others. So you have to give carrot and stick. What is the carrot and stick, sir? If they do good, you are giving carrot. If they are not doing good, you are using the stick. That is a analogy. But still, what I am telling is, you have to punish the persons who are not doing well in the organization. You have to give awards and rewards for the people who do well, who perform well in any organization. So, who deals with all these things? It is the HR, Human Resource Manager. So, coming here, warning an employee letter. Warning an employee letter. You are you as an employer, you as a boss, you as a manager. You are warning them. You are giving them a chance, the people who are working under you, to work well, to do good, and to perform well for the organization. So here, dear friends, what if the employee you, you hired today is not living up to your expectations 6 or 12 months from now? See, I recruit these two gentlemen to my organization. I recruit them. Okay, now they are doing fine. After 6 or 12 months, they are not doing well. What should I do? The issue of disciplining. Disciplining means what? Making them to get disciplined, right? certain echoes, certain values, certain principles which the employee should follow in an organization, reprimanding, punishing. For example, somebody drinks, somebody smokes, somebody gossips, somebody steals, somebody robs, somebody is not punctual, somebody is coming late, somebody creating problem. So what I have to do? And terminating, reprimanding is punishing and terminating means cancelling, dismissing them. A non-performing employee involves, what is the problem here? Psychological problem. Each one comes from a different background. So some psychological problem is there, management problem is there, motivation you have to do and employment law is there. You, immediately you cannot dismiss anybody. They have a union. They may go for strike, they may go to court. So you have to think all about it involves psychology, it involves management, it involves motivation and it involves employment law. We cannot begin to cover the ins and outs of the subject here. We cannot speak all these things, but one tip we can give. What is that? When you need to warn an employee about subpar job, performance. What do you mean by subpar job performance? If they are, have to do, for example, salesman, if he has to do weekly one sales target is uh, 10 lakhs. If he does only 5 lakhs, that is subpar, subpar job performance, not up to that expectation. Always do it in writing. You have to do it in writing. writing. Warning an employee, you should write in letter and warn them. And keep a copy of each warning letter in the employee's file. So each employee should have a file. As a manager, you have to maintain a file. And warning letter should be kept in the file. Without this proper trial, a terminated employee may be able to retaliate with a lawsuit for wrongful termination. Suppose uh, you don't have the copy letter. The employee whom you are dismissing, he may go to court and win a judgment against your firm. So how this letter writing should be? The structure of the letter should be introduce the document as a formal warning. Introduce the letter. This is a warning letter for you as an employee. Specify the problem. Now you have to tell the problem. What is the problem they have done? Example, tardiness, laziness, absenteeism. They are absenting themselves use of alcohol in the workplace they are using drinking alcohol in the workplace say exactly what changes you expect the employee to make you just tell him what you want him to be not to drink and come to office come exactly at time spell out the <coughs> consequences for failure to comply you also tell them if you don't follow these rules you will be dismissed or suspended or your salary will not be given offer to help the employee improve contact or performance if you can 
So advise him what you can do, what he can do. So the handy phrases in the letter should be unsatisfactory contact. Your contact, your character, your behavior is unsatisfactory. Continual violation. You keep on violating the rules and regulations of the company. Not up to the standards of the company. Your job performance is not up to the standards of the company. Unacceptable. What you are doing is not acceptable. And it is subpar. Not exactly on the level. So subpar means below level performance. So this is a letter, sir. This is a letter written by a manager to an employee. The employee's name is Herman. We are meeting to review deficiency that continue in your performance. Deficiency means what? Weakness. So your weakness in your performance as an, as an account manager. You are an account manager. Your performance is not that good. These deficiencies, these problems remain serious in that they have an impact on your overall contribution in meeting the sales targets because of your deficiency we are not able to achieve the sales targets set for the distribution business so this is for the account manager herman is an account manager the head manager writes a letter stating that he is not doing his performance well so the sales is not up to that expectation during your performance appraisal on april we discussed these performance deficiencies we told you about these problems and noted that corrective actions would need to be taken we already warned you that corrective action you should take to this end, we have outlined your accountabilities and objectives in the attached performance. In the attached performance, we have given all the details. Uh, improvement plan. You are being placed on formal written notice. Now, we are sending you a formal written notice that you are not meeting the performance standards relevant to your position. You as an accountant manager, you are not doing your uh, work properly. So, we are writing this letter. It is management's belief that you are capable of achieving. We know you are capable of achieving. We know you are the best. The accountabilities and objectives of the account manager to position. You are account manager to position. But your performance to date has been unacceptable and must improve substantially. So totally you have to develop yourself and immediately Continued substandard performance will result in action up to and including termination. Termination means what? Dismissal of your employment. So, if you don't do it properly, you will be dismissed from the job. So, here the PIP, however, is not a final goal. So, termination is not our final goal. Performance must be substantiated so that you can maintain and increase your contribution to the department and its business objective. So, you have to do good. So, both big tech and personal management are committed to your success. We are there to commit. We are committed for your success and remain ready to help you in any way possible. Whatever way is possible, we are ready to help you. I will make myself available to assist you in this process. I will help you to assist and you are encouraged to call upon any of us whenever you have a concern or a question. So whenever you have a question, you ask us, you call us, you speak to us. We are there to help you. So it is an accounts management too. It is warning given by the management stating that his performance is not good. He has to do good. He has to do better. Only then he will be kept in the organization or he will be terminated. They also say that they are ready to help him. So the tips for writing a warning. Be specific about your dissatisfaction. You have to be very specific. What are you dissatisfied with? Right, sir? You have to be very specific. Compare actual performance with the stated objectives. You have to say 10 lakhs is our target, our objective. You have achieved only 5 lakh target. You have to say achieved and objective targets. Uh, give strategies and suggestions. You have to give techniques. Strategies means what? Ways and suggestions for improvement as well as a deadline. Deadline means what? Within a particular time, you have to change yourself. Right, sir? So I request this gentleman to come. So dear friends, warning letter is very important as a manager. You have to write letters warning your employees. So, please, uh, so you are a gentleman. You are the manager, human resource manager of Hyundai Company, right, sir? So, one gentleman always comes there. He drinks one employee, fights, quarrels, 
and he is late coming and unnecessarily he speaks ill about the organization. So you are warning him. How do you warn? Ayyapan. Uh, this is a warning letter about you. You have been coming to a company uh, late and you are also coming uh, with illegal uh, alcohol. Ah. It's illegal alcohols. You are, you are continuing as this passed for last two weeks. This is a company, not in bar. You are coming drinking with it and having a fight with the employees and you are disgracing the company's name. Uh, if you continue this, you will be you will be suspended and also will be dismissed. Uh, and you are also a good uh, you are also a good employee. We are not going to miss you. Uh, you should not do like this. Here, here, else, here onwards, uh, you are a good employee who had made an many positive uh, positive thoughts in company, but you are now you are uh, with without our hands. Uh, you must not do like this. Thank you. Okay. So you are a manager of a company. One of your staff is always absent, not regular. She is not giving relieve leave letter also. Often takes leave. So you are warning her. How do you warn? Dear Manoj, um, this is a company. Uh, you um, you uh, last one week uh, you get the leave um, and uh, not, not proper permission for the leave. Uh, this is a uh, good company. You have uh, used. Um okay. Now I request welcome Priya. Priya's first class today. So she, as a human resource manager, she is warning her employee for their substandard performance. So how does she warn through the letter? Yes, please come, Priya. Just give her a debut clap because uh, applause. She's the first class. Yes, come. Say. Okay, speak, speak, speak. Look at the camera. Look at the camera. Keep the mic close up. Dear Mr. Ram, you are the salesperson in our company. Your performance is not up, up to our expectation. You are not reaching the sales target and you absent yourself from office many days. I, as a sales manager, wanted to remind you that you should be punctual and achieve in your job and sales or we may have to find a replacement for you. Good. And this is Rohini's first class also. Please come, Rohini. Uh, try to warn the employee. How do you warn the employee? Yes, give it an applause. Yes. Dear Ms. Rani, you are a res receptionist in our office for the last six months. Your performance as a receptionist is not up to level. You are unable to draft proper letters. You are not able to treat and welcome the irrita irritated customers. I, as a human resource manager, wish to advise you to work sincerely. Good, good, good. Nanbrakle, yes, American Angular work will cover it. Kiram Webster's Angular book. I read the columnal paratikalum echeri kehilum inre andradum. Tolit chale kili le ni rumanan kili le nara tapadi kerade. Nandra ko or vele yatkal, vele yatkal nandra ko vele sehi kira kili nandra lavar kali parat kabinto. Or var seri ya ko vele sehi yada bolu lavar kali kini ngel echeri kei vidak kabinto. Anda echeri kei vidak ka kuriya kadi dangal ungol ke kile vele sehi ya kuriya lavar kali. So disciplining nandra le na wuluk ka padutu dal vele sehi ya kuriya at kali reprimanding lavar kali echeri kel. Terminating our clay, Vele would to Nikal, non performance endal in our girl, say ye will lay endal, Vele. Either Yadayalam, summon the patta, the psychology, Manari Diana Prechenical, management, Nirwaka summon the patta, the motivation, Uchaka Pertuva, the employment law, 
வேலைக்கு வேலையாட்களுடைய உரிமைகள் சட்டம் இருக்கிறது we cannot begin to cover the ins and outs of this subject here anaithiyum patri inge solla mudiyadu but one tip we can give when you need to warn an employee about subpar job performance oru velaiyan seriyaga velai seiyavillai koraindha alave velai seigirargal endru vaithukollungal always do it in writing eluthu moolamaga eludhi avargalai echariyungal and a copy of each warning letter in the employee's file and the velaiyan முறையான <laughs> கடிதத்தில் முதலில் எழுத வேண்டும் ஸ்பெசிஃபை த ப்ராப்ளம் என்ன பிரச்சனை என்று நீங்கள் சொல்ல வேண்டும் என்ன அந்த வேலை செய்யக்கூடிய ஆள் டேடினஸ் ஒழுங்காக வேலை செய்யவில்லையா ஆப்சென்டிசம் அடிக்கடி லீவ் அடிக்கிறாரா யூஸ் ஆஃப் ஆல்கஹால் மத அருந்தி கொண்டு வருகிறாரா வேலை செய்யக்கூடிய இடத்துலே சே எக்ஸாக்ட்லி வாட் சேஞ்சஸ் யூ எக்ஸ்பெக்ட் த எம்ப்ளாயி டு மேக் உனக்கு கீழே வேலை செய்யக்கூடியவர்கள் எந்த மாதிரி இருக்க வேண்டும் என்று தெளிவாக சொல்ல வேண்டும் அண்ட் பை வென் எப்பொழுதுக்குள் ஸ்பெல் அவுட் த கான்சிக்வன்சஸ் ஃபார் ஃபெயிலியர் டு கம்ப்ளை அப்படி அவர்கள் ஒழுங்காக செய்யவில்லை என்றால் அதனுடைய விளைவுகளை சொல்ல வேண்டும் ஆஃபர் டு ஹெல்ப் தி எம்ப்ளாய் இம்ப்ரூவ் கான்டாக்ட் ஆஃப் 퍼ஃபார்மன்ஸ் இஃப் யூ கேன் அவர் நல்லா நன்றாக வேலை செய்வதற்காக நீங்கள் சில அறிவுரைகளை நீங்கள் சொல்ல வேண்டும் சொற்றொடர்கள் என்ன வேண்டும் அன்சட்டிஸ்ஃபேக்டரி திருப்தி கிடையாது கான்டாக்ட் அன்சட்டிஸ்ஃபேக்டரி கான்டாக்ட் அவர்கள் நடத்தை திருப்தி கிடையாது கண்டினியூல் வயலேஷன் தொடர்ச்சியாக விதிகளை மீறுகிறார்கள் நாட் அப் டு த ஸ்டாண்டர்ட்ஸ் ஆஃப் த கம்பெனி நிறுவனத்தினுடைய அந்த கொள்கைக்கு உடன்பட்டதாக இல்லை அன்அக்செப்டபிள் ஏற்றுக்கொள்ள முடியாது சப்பார் என்றால் என்ன ஒரு நிர்ணயித்த இலக்கை விட கம்மியாக வேலை செய்கிறார்கள் ஸோ இங்கே ஹெர்மன் என்பவர் அக்கௌண்ட்ஸ் மேனேஜர் ரெண்டு அசிஸ்டன்ட் அக்கௌண்ட் மேனேஜராக இருக்கிறார் அவருடைய வேலை டெஃபிஷியன்சி குறைபாடுகளாக இருக்கிறது அந்த குறைபாடுகளை நீக்க வேண்டும் என்று மேலாள சொல்கிறார் இங்கே பார்த்தீர்கள் என்றால் இதெல்லாம் அதை பற்றி சம்பந்தப்பட்டதுதான் வேலை செய்யவில்லை ஒழுங்காக நீங்கள் திறமையாக வேலை செய்ய வேண்டும் என்று சொல்லப்பட்டிருக்கிறது மேலும் உங்களுடைய வேலையை மேன்மைப்படுத்துவதற்காக எங்களால் உதவியை செய்கிறோம் என்று சொல்கிறோம் டிப்ஸ் ஃபார் ரைட்டிங் எ வார்னிங் பி ஸ்பெசிஃபிக் அபவுட் யுவர் டிஸ்சாட்டிஸ்ஃபேக்ஷன் மேலாளராக உங்களுக்கு அந்த வேலை செய்யக்கூடிய ஆட்கள் இந்த வேலையிலே என்ன அதிருப்தி என்பதை நீங்கள் தெளிவாக சொல்ல வேண்டும் கம்பேர் ஆக்சுவல் பெர்ஃபார்மன்ஸ் வித் ஸ்டேட்டட் ஆப்ஜெக்டிவ்ஸ் ஒரு இலக்கு பத்து லட்சம் ரூபா சேல்ஸ் இலக்கு என்றால் அஞ்சு லட்சம் தான் அவர்கள் அடைந்திருக்கிறார் என்று சொல்ல வேண்டும் கிவ் ஸ்ட்ராட்டஜிஸ் அண்ட் சஜஷன்ஸ் ஃபார் இம்ப்ரூவ்மெண்ட் அஸ் வெல் அஸ் டெட்லைன் ஆக ஸ்ட்ராட்டஜி சொல்ல வேண்டும் அவர்கள் எப்படி மேன்மை அடைய வேண்டும் என்று சோ நண்பர்களே மேலாளராக நீங்கள் எச்சரிக்கை கூடிய கடிதங்கள் எழுதுவதற்கு திறமை பெற்றவர்களாக இருக்க வேண்டும் ஹோப் யூ ஆர் ஏபிள் டு அண்டர்ஸ்டாண்ட் ஆர் யூ கிளிய